Yes, September 2008, me, my dad and my brother and some of my dad's friends went away to Bulgaria. Now, Bulgaria is very much an acquired taste, but I think it's quite an underrated holiday place, to be honest. There is so much that you can see and do in Bulgaria. Bulgaria has very interesting terrain and land. And as a place, you will not be bored there. There's plenty to do. There's plenty to see. And you've got decent weather as well. There's lots of plus points to Bulgaria, which I will divulge shortly. So, Bulgaria, way back in 2008, like September time. So, end of summer, sort of early autumn. First things first, guys. When you're going on holiday later, I suppose all of us do consider, well, what's the weather going to be like if I'm going later in the year? I'm pleased to say that Bulgaria did not disappoint weather-wise. It was still very, very decent. It was about 70 degrees plus, between 70 and 80. So Bulgaria's location in Europe being further down, being quite close to like sort of Balkan states, does mean that it is a bit sort of warmer than certain parts in that time of year so no problems there that and the fact we were staying in probably one of the more warmer parts of the place you know of the country the two main resorts there you have are golden sands and sunny beach we were staying in sunny beach okay sunny beach as a place is what it is it's a sunny beach resort now for the most part where you're walking around, you're in the town there, you know where you're not really seeing the beach. But if you venture further down into the town and you're actually there on the coast there and there is a wonderful beach waiting for you. Beautiful, clean, sunny sands, as in hence the name, sunny beach, you know. And you will not be disappointed. You know, outside of my own country, so you can really value a place where how clean and how well presented the beach is and sunny beach was really nice really really like i've been wrong i've been to enough greek and spanish islands as you know and other parts of the world where i've been on beaches and sunny beach did have a really lovely beach and you all liked it there you know not gonna lie um as well as that there is the perennial water park for anybody who has young children or a young family or even if there's just like a group of you and you just want to just go crazy let the inner child run mad for like a day or two there's a nice couple of nice water parks one that we did go to with many nice slides and um, in terms of the food i'm going to be brutally honest here don't take this the wrong way and don't be put off by this it wasn't really to my taste but then again, I still found plenty to eat and I didn't go hungry. Now, I'm going to be really honest here. Now, Bulgaria as a place is quite close to Germany in terms of its food type and probably Poland and that sort of food. So if you don't really like that sort of thing, then it probably won't be for you. But never fear, like any other country that has foreign visitors... There are many food outlets, there are many establishments that will do more British food or sort of world food, shall we say. You know, you'll find a McDonald's if you need to, that's what I'm getting at, if that's what you want to eat. But by all means, try some of the local food. I mean, I did have a couple of local dishes and they were very nice. But then again, some of the stuff I had in the hotel was not so good. But... As I said, it's more my taste than probably it not being good food. As I said, they are very geared towards 
the Eastern European food pipe of sort of Poland and Germany, all right? If you don't like that, then you probably won't enjoy it. But it's worth a try, okay? Of course it is. I tried it. I wasn't so keen. But there you go. That's really the summary there, you know, with the food. For the rest of the holiday, entertainment-wise, well, if you're not exploring the beaches, there's plenty of bars and restaurants to go to. We partaked in a couple of bars, restaurants. They were very lively, should I say. There was uh, a lot of singing and dancing and good times had. You know, it wasn't all getting absolutely drunk out of your mind and stuff like that. But, of course, I'm sure you could understand that back then, that part of my life, didn't like to have a drink who didn't you know and uh, definitely if you do go out drinking or out in Bulgaria just be a bit careful they're very very uh, proud people so make sure you behave yourself because if you don't someone may take exception to it you know I mean I think we went out the one night and we was in a nightclub and it was full of the locals we weren't not welcome but we did stick out a little bit like i saw from and you just got to be a little bit mindful when you when you're in any foreign country remember you're playing by their rules so respect them okay and make sure that you do and if you do there will not be a problem all right as a place i like to think that you know, I told you about sort of the, the beach area, but certain parts of Bulgaria, you've got mountains, you've got ski resorts, you've got a nice mixture going on here, guys. And if you want to try, say, the coast on one visit and then maybe go up sort of more into the mountains the second time round, then you can do. There's packages available for both. As a country as well, it's quite cheap you will get value for money it's not like dirt cheap but you will find that it's probably cheaper than of certain parts of Europe you know and obviously then you can just maybe get some souvenirs maybe your money's going to stretch a bit further when you're out and you know enjoying yourself but no definitely as a place is is a good a good holiday you will love it i enjoyed it it was a short like five day break but i enjoyed it i would try it again at some point obviously it's been a very long time since i've been and uh, obviously with my family like origins originating some sort of that sort of part of the world you know, I was uh, looking like one of the locals <laughs> when I had a suntan. And yeah, I think they're mistaken me for being like Bulgarian or from some part of the world quite similar. But uh, no, it's it's a decent place to go on holiday. It surprised me. I didn't really think it would be anything like what it was. I was pleasantly surprised by it. And I think you would be as well. Guys, this is my second of three videos this week i want to say thank you all ever so ever so much for listening your time and energy as always is so very much appreciated thank you kindly second of three as i said put down in the comment section below have you been to bulgaria have you had any reports for bulgaria what's your understanding of it as a country would you be interested in going uh, do you have any reservations as to why you wouldn't want to go let's get a discussion going in the chat box down below remember remember to hit that subscribe button down below and leave me a thumbs up and a like and let's hear that bell sign go ding dong so you know when my next content's out until then everyone i want to say thank you all ever so much as always for listening and for being here i really appreciate your time and energy here spent on my channel i'll be back with my third and final video of the week back end of this week until then i want to say thank you all very much take care of yourselves and bye for now